Here in the Bay Area, we have some of the best shows in entertainment tour through and play in our theaters. One that I'm really excited about, SHN's Hedwig and the Angry Inch. One of the star performers, San Francisco's own Lena Hall, is giving us an inside look at her life at home and backstage. So this is where you get ready. This is where the magic happens. Really? So how well, much time do you spend back here? I want to seem all impressive. Like, it takes me a long time to get ready. <laughs> it does that. It takes me, like, 10 to 15 minutes to do my makeup. Really? And you mm -hmm. do it all? I do it myself, yeah. Really? And then, like, five minutes to put the wig on, and then 10 minutes to put the multiple, multiple layers on of clothing. Okay, tell folks who maybe have not heard about the premise, the story of Hedwig and the Angry Inch, how would you sum it up in just a couple sentences? Um, woof. It's a story about finding your other half um, as told by an accidental transgender. Um, essentially, it's a rock show with a deep meaning and a deep heart. It tells the universal story of finding yourself. There are two main characters. Hedwig is a gender queer, head of the glam rock band The Angry Inch. And Yitzhak is Hedwig's aspiring drag queen husband. Lena has the rare opportunity of playing both roles on different nights. Is there a difference in your pre-show pre -show routine when you're playing Yitzhak and playing Hedwig? Yeah, for sure. To play Hedwig, I'm like so nervous because I only get to do it once a week, so I don't get to find a rhythm, okay. you know? So it is always pretty new when I'm doing it. And so it's nerve wracking. Now it's time to get a glimpse of what life is like for Lena growing up in San Francisco. Welcome to my childhood home. Oh my goodness. I know, this is my dad's room. It's the best room in the house. Wow. <laughs> when I walked in, I went, where am I? Yeah. <laughs> this is home for you, right? Yeah, this is how I grew up. Um, it's not home for me anymore because I've lived in New York for such a long time. Uh -huh. Everything that you see is basically just started in the 60s and been added on since then. I always tell people, you should come and see my house in San Francisco because if you do, you'll understand me better. Every time I come home, I always walk up and down Haight Street just because I have to walk up and down Haight Street. I have to go to the pork store for breakfast at least once. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, the pork store is a staple. I gotta ask you, going back, you, you received the Tony for playing Yitzhak on, mm -hmm. on Broadway. What was that like? So it was a whirlwind. It was, um, I tried to stay as present as possible because I didn't want to forget what was going on. But honestly, I, I you know, I, I don't have the, the, the memory, like, of winning. Because when something like that happens, it's like your body, you, you have an out-of-body experience. So once mm -hmm. a week you get to play Hedwig. Mm -hmm and you're just killing it. <laughs> Why was that so important for you to, to prove? Um, you know, it's, it's such a male-dominated role, and to be the first woman to do it is like a privilege, but it's also a responsibility to show the boys that, yeah, I'm a woman, and I can do it, and I can do it, you know, just as good as you, if not better. <laughs> You can catch Hedwig and the Angry Inch at SHN Golden Gate Theater in San Francisco now through October 30th.